Hello YouTube! So, well, I haven't been crafting a lot of bows. In fact, I haven't made a single bow in a few years now, mostly due to my concerns with the quality of the PVC available near me. It seems a bit brittle and not worth the risk of trying to make a bow out of. I have been crafting. I have been making things. One of the things is what you see behind me here. When the pandemic hit, I found myself with some free time, as you do, and I wanted to build an arcade cabinet, which I had done once before, but not of particularly high quality. In this case, what I did was I constructed a arcade cabinet along the lines of the I like to make stuff arcade cabinet, which was commissioned for Mortal Kombat 11. I'll phase in some pictures of the cabinet from the side to show you uh, what it looks like from you know, other perspectives. All I've done is I've slimmed it down a bit. I'll see if I can give you a, something of an idea from the side what it looks like. So it's a relatively thin profile, only a few feet deep, because a full depth arcade machine doesn't really make sense. In this case, since it's up against the wall, I've left the back off, meaning I can go back and I can turn. There we go. Turn the backlight on for the sign, the marquee that was printed out. I have speaker grills, which currently there are no speakers since I'm using the TV speakers, which are built in. The TV is a $150 32-inch TV bought off Amazon on sale. It was extremely affordable. It's just held to the back using some pieces of wood that I uh, used like a bracket so I could slide the TV after I pulled off its case and frame right in. It can be removed pretty easily. All of the hardware down here, this is all X Gaming. I had a completed uh, controller which was altogether good but I would have had to disassemble and put in here, so I figured I might as well buy a separate kit just to do that. The computer running it all is an Alienware Alpha. Really not very powerful, especially at this point, but it's adequate to use any interfaces, items that I can't function through here, which when I boot into Steam Big Picture works just fine. But to, for any other things, if I want to exit Big Picture, go into the actual Windows interface, I can do that using a Bluetooth keyboard, no problem. There's the computer behind the controller compartment. There's a completely non-functional, just for aesthetics, uh, key door. It's pretty cool, and I mean, it, it needs to be there. It should be there. All of the T-molding, see if I can get you a perspective on it, has a leather texture, but it's black. Very subtle, looks nice. And all the other art is exactly as you would expect to see on the I like to make stuff machine. Like I said, I bought their plans and then I tailored them and modified them to my own needs. That was the biggest project that I undertook over the last year or two and it's pretty satisfying, it's neat. I enjoy its presence more than I play it, but it's, it's there and it was a cool project and I learned a lot about woodworking. If anybody has any questions about it, please ask. I'm happy to answer and do what I can. Thanks.